Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. We've got a, a very simple uh, mixed operations problem for you today. Uh, it's 100 plus 100 times 3 uh, equals what? All right, so this one here is probably be pretty easy. I've had quite a few problems like this, but uh, if you'd like to try to work this one out on your own, uh, you could pause the video here, um, and we'll come back and work it out together. All right, so hopefully you remember, uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, hopefully you're familiar already uh, with the order of operations. If not, um, we're going to cover it just real briefly again. Um, just remember that multiplication has precedence over addition. Multiplication is nothing more than repeated addition. Um, the order of operations convention is based on the uh, relationship between multiplication division, addition, and subtraction. All right, you may have heard of uh, some different acronyms such as PEMDAS, BODMAS, BEDMAS, uh, and uh, BIDMAS. Um, in North America, it's typically PEMDAS. Um, these haven't been around forever, but it's like, these are just memorization tools um, that are sometimes used for memorizing the order of operations. Uh, a lot of people get these confused, though, but uh, the way PEMDAS works, it's uh, it represents parentheses, exponents, uh, then multiplication and division left to right, and addition and subtraction. Uh, I will say the step um, number one, the parentheses. If you don't have parentheses, you go on to the next step. You do not solve left to right just because there are no parentheses. It's a a big myth. I see a lot of people posting answers and they're saying, well, there's no parentheses. You just solve left to right. That's how I was taught back in my day. And I guarantee you weren't. Um, that, that's like one of the biggest myths surrounding the order of operations. Uh, number two, the exponents. Um, sure, exponents is their exponents are um, shorthand uh, for repeated multiplication. But step number two also includes things like factorials. Uh, square roots, basically anything else that could be considered uh, shorthand for repeated uh, multiplication. Uh, and again, your multiplication and division, step three, uh, multiplication and division have equal precedence. I know a lot of people get very confused on PEMDAS and they think that multiplication is solved before division just because the M is before the D, uh, and that is false. Mul division is the same thing as multiplying by a reciprocal. So they have the same precedence. You just solve them left to right as you find them. Uh, in addition and subtraction, it really doesn't even matter what order you do them. I mean, if you're just going left to right, solve them left to right if you want. But addition and subtraction, um, it really doesn't matter. Subtraction is the same thing as adding a negative number. So again, addition and subtraction have equal precedence. Uh, now, BODMAS, that's often used in the UK. The biggest difference, well, the biggest difference is here, it's just terminology. Instead of parentheses, they're referred to as brackets. Really the same thing. You've got grouping symbols as step number one. Uh, number two, orders. Um, I kind of like this term, uh, orders. It's a generic term, but it really covers parentheses, factorial, square roots. Again, anything that is shorthand for repeated multiplication. So I actually like orders as a term better than exponents because exponents is just one thing it's really just one part of it um, number three again same thing multiplication and division left to right i know there's a lot of people out there who think and they incorrectly think that there's some kind of difference between pemdas and bodmas because the m is before the d in one and the d comes before the m in the other uh, again that's false multiplication and division still have equal precedence and they're solved left to right. You're gonna get the very same answer between PEMDAS and BODMAS. Um, so if you hear somebody telling you they're different, uh, again, they don't know what they're talking about. Uh, and again, step four, addition and subtraction, um, they have equal precedence. Um, there is another one out there. Um, I don't know exactly where this one is used, but uh, I do, I have heard of BEDMAS. Again, the only real difference here is instead of orders, uh, they use exponents again, which is fine. Again, just keep in mind, it's not just exponents. It's anything 
that is uh, shorthand for repeated multiplication. Again, the factorial, square roots, things like that. Uh, other than that, everything else is identical. Uh, steps three and four are the same. Finally, we end up with bidmus. Um, the only real difference here is instead of using the word exponents or orders, um, they're using indices. But again, step two still covers all the same things, exponents, factorials, square roots, um, and so on. So um, it, there's really no difference. No matter which one of these you use, you will get the same answer. Now, uh, back to the problem at hand. Again, we said multiplication uh, has precedence over addition. So we have to solve the 100 times 3 first. 100 times 3 is 300. And uh, then 100 plus 300 is what? Well, 100 plus 300 is 400. And I know a lot of people will say things like, well, if you're supposed to do the multiplication first, why wasn't it written 100 times 3 plus 100? Well, you could write it that way uh, if you wanted to, but you still are going to get 400 because multiplication still has precedence. It's, you're not reading like a sentence left to right. You're going left to right, but you have to follow the order of operations. Um, now, some people are going to say, well, why? Why do you do that? Well, the reason multiplication has precedence is because it's a shorthand for repeated addition. 100 times 3 is the same thing as adding 100 three times. You know, 100 times 3 is the same as 3 times 100. Uh, 100 plus 100 times 3. Again, 100 times 3 is the same thing as adding 100 three times. And if you, and if you replace that multiplication with addition, you're going to have 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100, and again, that equals 400. So it's the same answer. Um, <clears throat> another thing I will just mention briefly, I've got other videos um, that cover this topic about calculators, but um, if you're using a scientific calculator, uh, you're going to get 400. Uh, a, a scientific calculator allows you to enter the entire expression 100 plus 100 times 3, and you're going to get 400. Uh, the example on the left is from a Windows 11 machine. Uh, you'll get a similar answer from Windows 10. But note that I have it in scientific mode, not standard mode. Standard mode, <clears throat> and this is a thing uh, that I don't like about Microsoft. They don't explain it very well. But the standard mode calculator uses what's known as immediate execution mode. Um, and so what it does there is when you're typing in the 100 plus 100, it's automatically um, solving that um, and you're going to get the wrong answer um, if you go through and, and do this. I think you're going to end up with 600 because in standard mode the calculator does 100 plus 100 and then basically forces an equal sign uh, and gives you 200 and then it takes the 200 times 3 and gives you 600. Uh, it's because um, there are different types of calculators. Calculators that have expression mode such as a scientific calculator, will let you in, which will let you enter a long expression with multiple operations, mixing addition, division, subtraction, whatever, and you'll get the right answer. Uh, you can enter the whole thing in and hit an equal sign. Uh, but it, but immediate execution mode type calculators, um, they do not uh, um, permit you to enter the whole expression in. It's just th it's just a difference in input methods. Um, a lot of cheap dollar store calculators do not have the ability to enter in the entire expression. Um, it doesn't mean that 600 is correct and 400 is correct, depending on what calculator you're using. Um, no, that's not true. The correct answer is 400, uh, but you need to understand your calculator and how to use your calculator. Uh, and again, the example on the right, um, that's from an Android uh, cell phone. And of course, those also allow for expression mode entry, and you do get the 400. Uh, so those those both are correct. Um, so I just wanted to cover that real quick, uh, because one of the things I see a lot is people will say, well, just go use a calculator and find out what you get. Well, you got to be careful when you tell some people that, because a lot of people um, don't understand how to use their particular calculator correctly. So. Uh, 
Again, I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, uh, and I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video. Take care.